We are back, my friends, at 740 now on your Sunday morning with a question. Do you fume when someone cuts you off in traffic? Does your blood pressure skyrocket when your child refuses to cooperate? Anger is a common, a healthy emotion even, but it's important to deal with it in a positive way. Uncontrolled anger can take a toll on both your health and your relationships, and there are ways to help you get this under control. So this morning, we're joined by licensed therapist and our good friend, Kevin Peterson. Kevin, my friend, how's it going? I'm good, Jordan. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, and actually, I feel like this is a segment for me, in all honesty. I was reading a lot of these questions, and I was like, mm, yes, that, that is me. And uh, probably my mom and a lot of my friends at home right now were like, yeah, that is absolutely you in traffic right now. <laughs> I, I have a question because I really do think about this. I think about my own health when I get angry, when I get angry. Let's first talk about what happens within us. What happens within our minds when this first pops up? You know, it's the thing I heard you say earlier too, is that, you know, anger is a natural, normal emotion. So it's, it's okay. It's just like everything else being sad, being lonely, being scared. Anger is normal. It's when you let it sort of run the show and take over and, and, and it just, you, you start, you stop thinking is really what it comes down to and you just start reacting. And that's what we want to pull back in. Where do we even begin to manage this, Kevin? I truly would like to know before, <laughs> you know, you want to get upset. I'm not even talking about because a lot of times, you know, some people will say, well, yeah, I get annoyed maybe when I'm in traffic, but I don't really act on it. I don't like yell or anything like that. But even if you're not yelling, you're, you're still kind of working your blood pressure up a little bit. So how do we even kind of bring ourselves back to a little bit more of a, a regular level? You know, the first thing I always tell people is that uh, tr you, you want to be able to sort of take that moment and pause and just just catch yourself. We call it self-regulation and just take a deep breath and just pause and be like, hmm, OK, this is going to be OK. I don't have to do anything right now. That's the first thing. Yeah, okay, that's that's a good start. And <laughs> I definitely can practice. And you're just laughing because she knows exactly. I, I really am. We're not calling anybody out on this. We're using me as the example because I'm, I'm the perfect example on this. <laughs> How important, because, you know, a lot of times, too, I feel like whenever we're in these situations, we have these thoughts that kind of these these angry thoughts that pop up and then they become amplified when we do start speaking, when we do start kind of yelling in traffic and things like that. How important is it to think maybe before we speak? Oh, that's the critical piece is that, you know, as a therapist, we try to get people uh, to be proactive, right? There's two sides of it, proactive, reactive. Um, and so I can teach people how to when in the moment what to do, but the real gain or the real thing that I want to get them to do is be proactive. And so that they're not getting to that point. Um, and, and, you know, and, and that's just a big piece. That's where the pause comes in. And it's also what I think another big piece is exercise, right? Exercise allows you to calm your body on a regular basis, which in then turn calms your mind. Yeah, you know, so timeouts, not only for kids, right? Sometimes maybe they're more important for us adults. You know, one thing I'm really happy is that my mom kind of instilled in me when we're getting a little bit heated with each other or we're kind of talking about something a little bit more serious, we have to say, hey, I need to call you back. Can you give me like half an hour? Like, you know, kind of let me step aside for a moment. How important is it to kind of step back, collect your thoughts and then do that? Oh, timeouts are critical. It is like the, sil the silver bullet of anger management is taking that moment and just saying, I need a second and, you know, either walking out of the room or walking around the block or, you know, something along those lines and just disengaging and giving yourself a moment to just sort of bring everything back down and take a deep breath and just be there and be in the moment and then circle back and say, OK, I'm ready to try this again. Let's talk. Yeah, absolutely. Kevin, I mean, a few minutes, just not enough time to talk about this topic. We could go for a very <laughs> long time. We'll have to have you back, my friend, to dive a little bit more into some other issues that I face. <laughs> Kevin Peterson, my friend, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate you as always. It's my pleasure, man. It's good to see you both. You guys take it easy. You too. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. All about that life. And, and deep breath.